plaintiff, Beverly Forehand, says she met the defendant 31 years ago, and they've dated on and off ever since. Beverly admits that she and the defendant were both unfaithful, but she insists the defendant is the father of her 16-year-old daughter, and she petitioned the court for a DNA test as well as pain and suffering. Defendant Kennedy Wilson admits that he and Beverly dated off and on, but he insists he was not with Beverly when she conceived the child in question, and he didn't even know the child existed until she was five years old. Kennedy denies owing Beverly for anything. Start with you. I met the defendant, uh, Kennedy Wilson, 31 years ago. We have a long history that goes back. I met him in 1985. Our relationship has been on and off um, for a long time. You know, he's had a problem with other women. And at the time, I was seeing other men, too. Uh, in 2098... Yours wasn't a problem, though. <laughs> His was a problem, but yours was all right. Yeah, yours was under okay, control, right? Okay, <laughs> Go ahead. OK, so in 1998, uh, I ended up... Kennedy came back into my life once again. This False. Was, uh, this was his M.O., Your Honor. <laughs> this was your, his M.O. <laughs> um, so, in 99, I gave birth to my daughter, Shania, and that's why I'm here. I'm petitioning the court for... All right. Uh, Let me allow him to give some background, then we'll get to some of the pain and suffering you've endured. Uh, sir? Well, I know I'm not the father of the child because not only was I not anywhere to be found during the child's birth, even more importantly, I wasn't anywhere to be found during the child's conception. And in fact, I didn't even know that the child even existed Your until I visited her one day and she's there and she's already four or five years old. Your Honor, I well, this is after she's had five kids from three different men. And if I was the father, then why does another man's name is on the birth certificate? Is yeah, that Honor. true? No, it isn't. Okay. No. That's a lie. No, it isn't. Anyone have the birth certificate today? I think there yeah, was... Um... And you want to go back to 85 to 99? Is it true you all had an off and on, turbulent? Uh, you no, all we, we that met true? in around 81. Mm -hmm. Um, then I met my wife, and then the choice was clear, and I got married in 86. All right, and you never went back? Um, not until my wife had died. All right, I'm sorry to hear that. When? When? when uh, 2004. Okay, so you all did resume in 04? Yes. All right, for how long? Uh, until 2013. Okay. She said 99, is that when it was? Yeah, but I didn't get to know this until 2004, 2005. Ma'am, when did you notify him? Uh, that was uh, right after she was born. Okay, That's 99? a lie. Yes, yes, All Your right. Honor. Because he says you didn't tell him until well, five years later. Well, he's lying. Okay. Okay. And he knew the child was his. Yes. Not it... until 2004, Your Honor. Okay. Your and Honor, she says I have 99. evidence of Pardon when... Me? I have evidence when she was six months old, he was in her life. Okay. From the time she grew up. Father's name, it says information not recorded. Why didn't you put his name down? Because he wasn't there to sign it. All right. She, do you recall her asking you to sign it? No. And what would he say when you would tell him or there was never well, any... At first, Your Honor, he denied it. Right. Uh, but as time went on... Why would I deny that? He accepted that? her as his. He even <laughs> went as far as announcing to his family at a family reunion that he was taking her. Why do you think her. he would deny the child? I don't know. Well, at you... the time, Your Honor, at the time I was seeing other men, I'm not going to lie, I was, and I had a drinking problem at that time. Uh, but they look so much alike. If you look at the pictures, Let's see. they look... So in 1999... <sighs> He denied it. Yes. And... I didn't know about it. The uh, child's head is turned, so I can't <laughs> tell. Yeah, well, that's the only picture I have, but it's her. <laughs> it's, it's her. Your Honor. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I don't look. He uh, hurts her on her head. Look, look at like that. Like, what the baby <laughs> said. <laughs> OK, your honor. Very good. <laughs> what would you want to say, sir? This isn't funny because a child is involved, and I'm glad to hear yes. that you all were living in the household means that he was providing. Uh, but the other part is for three years, has he been providing for the child? Uh, not since we broke up in 2013. Right. And yes. have you pursued any type of support? Uh, no, I haven't. Why? That's why I'm here now. Why? Well, because when we broke up, Your mm -hmm. Honor, it was very messy. All right. But really why about the child? Not about you. Yeah. I'm kidding about you. Yeah, the child. I didn't. I didn't. Why? I don't know. Why? I didn't want anything to do with him. And I, I know, know but the child might want part. the child might want his yeah. money or her money. On my part. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Talking about I don't want nothing from him. I just want to. All right, you might not. Mm -hmm. But the child does. That's the child's money. It's not your money. <laughs> you don't get none. All your right, Honor, sir. I tried to be a father to this child. Why? Um, if it wasn't your child, because um, she looks like a Wilson. But I was not anywhere around okay. during the birth, yeah. and even more importantly, not okay. during now, the Now, was conception. she on? Was she alcohol addicted during that time? I imagine so. I know I'm not the father of the child because I wasn't anywhere to be found during the child's conception. And if I was the father, then why does another man's name is on the birth certificate? Yeah, is that I Defendant Kennedy Wilson insists he is not the biological father of the plaintiff's 16-year-old daughter, but the plaintiff insists he is, and she petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove it. Pain and suffering, what is that for? Well, Your Honor, after Kennedy got involved, I believe, with this lady here, left us... When? After ...in 2013, uh -huh. he moved us, Your Honor, from Philadelphia all the way to Florida, and then he ups... When he gets tired of you, that's his M.O. When he gets tired of women, he leaves them. He plays with their emotions. This man put me and my daughter through so much pain. He, at one time, for example, Please, he would take stop. us... He would take us to the supermarket and leave us there at 12 o'clock at night, would never come back. That we is had a to lie. Get, it is, it's not a lie. Your Honor, I got it all written down in the diary. I think I gave you... So what? So what? OK, Your Honor, look, he just... And then he had me... It was so emotional because he had me feeling like I was nothing. This man, we had to go to therapy behind Kennedy. He left us with nothing, without a telephone, without food. We got evicted and had nowhere to go. He wouldn't even lift a finger to help us find another place because he was living with her. Um, may I introduce... And this is his M.O. I would like to say uh, something. May this I is his M.O. that she had me arrested. Yeah, and you deserve to be arrested. She claims that I hit her. The fact of the matter is that she hit me on the day in question. All right, uh. she, there's no day in question because she didn't say anything. But since you want to get into this fight, let... <laughs> let oh, no, well, she no, had... No, no, you want to had... talk about a fight that she didn't even mention. Ma'am, you want to tell me about this fight? Is yes. this part of your pain and suffering? Yes, it is, Your because Honor. Because that would be eligible for a judgment. You want to tell me about the uh, violence here? Yes. That he is uh, said went on? On September 11th, mm -hmm. we were arguing, and the House argued. Uh, Mr. Wilson snatched the phone up and was taking it out the house so I couldn't make phone calls. Uh -huh. He had opened up the door so hard that I fell behind the door, and he took the door and just kept slamming it on me real hard while I was That's behind a lie. You were on the ground? I have... Yes. I no, have she the wasn't. Record. Where was she? Mm. Behind the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was on the door behind the ground. I was... Stuck behind the door, Your doing Honor. Doing what I have, behind the door, sir? I have... There's the arrest record. Sir, doing and... what behind the door? No, I... Look, I was trying to leave. I was I trying... I say, what was she doing behind the door? Apparently, she was trying to get... Keep me from... Keep me from leaving. I left the premises. Uh -huh. I don't know. OK. Yes. All right. You That's sound like you're lying. What yes. is this? Uh, that is the discharge paper from when I went to the hospital and his arrest record, the police report. Should be in there also. Any other assaults in this arrest uh, record? No, not in that one. No. All right. And what happened with the case, ultimately? Well, actually, um, he was arrested. I ended up dropping charges, though. Why? Uh, well, he... We, I got a restraining order against him. You consented to the uh, restraining order? 
Yes. Based on the specific facts of this case, that petitioner is a victim of domestic violence or has reasonable cause to believe that he or she is in imminent danger of becoming a victim of domestic violence by respondent. So you admitted to it, sir. No, that, she wasn't no imminent mean. danger. That's what stipulate means. You stipulated, you agreed to what she put down here. Therefore, I will stay away from her because I agree that this happened. All right. So he admitted that on here by stipulating that he assaulted you. I also uh, want to see now the um, results of the test. Your Honor, can I say something about you? Yes, come on up. State your name. <laughs> she got My us. My name is Carol Fagan. What do you want to tell me? Um, on the day of the assault, he did call me to let him know that he was arrested. Um, but before then, um, when he would come home, she would leave for days. He called me to let me know he, wanted, he wouldn't be able to see me because he left, she left the child. That's with, a lie. She left the child. <laughs> That's a lie. Sit with, down. For days. Sit what, down, I'll let you please. talk, ma'am. Sit down. Approximately Two. what year was this? Um, 13. 14, I'm sorry. Okay. 14. And, Your mm. Honor, may I also um, add... I'm not finished. Oh, um, she would uh -huh. leave for days. You said Left that, the so child you must be finished. What else? Okay, um, <laughs> also, she got my number, I guess, out of his phone mm -hmm. to call me. I don't want to hear this mess, ma'am. Sit down. It, I I that's what it is. She just yeah. she yeah. called me. You know what this man was doing. He was playing Thank both you. of y'all. Because the same thing he did to me, he going to do to you. I think that not. That sound like a lie. I can't come there because she left you me for somebody many else. days here with the child. You're right. So there, there was, no was reason. Nothing that's imminent. enough, ma'am. I told you that's okay. enough. Have a, let's take her out. Okay. Take her out. <laughs> take her out. Take her out. Now she won to debate with me. Thank you. All right. At the time, I was seeing other men. I'm not gonna lie, I was. But they look so much alike. If you look at the pictures, the uh, child's head is turned. So I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the only picture I have, but it's her. <laughs> so, your honor, look, he uh, hurts her on her head. Look, look at like her. <laughs> what the baby said. <laughs> Defendant Kennedy Wilson insists he is not the biological father of the plaintiff's 16 year old daughter, but the plaintiff insists he is. And she petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove it. Let's see who child this is. God. Probability is zero. It is not his child. That's why you don't want your child support. Have well, a good day. Your, your claim is dismissed. <laughs> I wish not to be associated with this woman anymore in life. Well, you know what? That's good, because I don't want anything to do with you. I mean, she's better off that she don't have a nut for a father like you. He's far from a nut. He's very intelligent. Uh, he got with Giving you. and loving. Well, since the feelings mutual, <laughs> please lose my number. <laughs>